Uh, my name's Ryan, I'm a senior DevOps at Skimlinks, and this is just a quick talk that David asked me to do to demonstrate our Star Trek themed dashboard. Um, next slide. Um, the, the goals about uh, how this happened was basically we wanted to, um, so the team had no visibility of what was going on and everyone was sort of building servers by hand. So the goal was to put something in, so in the, our case Puppet, to automatically configure the monitoring and set up the correct service checks based on which services were actually on the nodes. Um, but also to avoid spamming everyone into oblivion. So the alerts would only really trigger, again, based on what was mentioned earlier, if the alerts were actionable. So a human could go in and actually make a change. Otherwise, they probably didn't need to know about it. And it should be something that was visible, so really have the whole team centered around it. So the, the idea was that we build a dashboard to present the, the metrics a little bit more interestingly which would be um, on a video wall in, in the center of the, the team. Uh, next slide. Um, so yeah, we, we built this. It's um, a Ruby application, um, obviously modeled after the compute system on Star Trek, because why not? Uh, it's um, built in Sinatra, and it parses the Nagios data file and then converts that into JSON, which is then served out to the HTML5 front end, so it works on mobile. And uh, I think if we could start, there should be a video. So I'll talk you through this. <laughs> OK. <laughs> so this is the initial view that you get when everything is fine. So the, the ideal goal is to see this as often as possible. Um, sometimes not the case, but it depends how busy, are, uh, busy things are. So now, if, when a warning comes into the system, this will be displayed up here. <laughs> and um, yeah, this, this is when you saw, oh, interesting. We'll glance at this, see what exactly the problem is. As warnings come in, they can fill up the screen here. Um, yeah, I should probably have timed this a little better. Um, we have an ability to read in acknowledgments from Nagio. So if, if a user comes in and acknowledges a service problem, then that gets taken off of the, um, the warnings put into the bottom of the screen um, with the comment that, that Jordi has uh, put in there for us nicely. Uh, uh, we also support um, scrolling. So if, if multiple problems occur, then the system will just scroll up and down between the, the alerts until, until you uh, fix them all. Uh, I just copied and pasted those, so it's a little bit boring, but uh, yeah, and then if there's a more serious error, <laughs> then we go to red alert, and this is when usually people will be flapping, and you might want to go in and, and you know, placate some managers, get some, get some fixes in place, so here we can see that AWS is having some problems. Oh God, no, now what's happened? So AWS has gone down, so now we can't even see the status of Nagios. And then um, hopefully a few hours later, a few like pints and uh, some swearing, um, everything will be back to normal. And well, that, that's, that's basically it, so. <laughs> okay, thank you.